F1 is the fastest moving sport in the world, but not just on the track. Behind every car is a team of engineers and strategists who need reflexes that are just as fast as their drivers. These guys obsess over the data looking for even the slightest edge, but there's an obstacle to that goal. The FIA, Formula's governing body, has made it their mission to level the playing field. That means strict limits on what teams can and can't do. And so within those constraints, teams are now turning to a new, still slightly regulated tool artificial intelligence. Because in a sport where a tiny advantage can mean the difference between a podium finish and scoring zero points, teams are keeping their AI breakthroughs very, very quiet. And in this video, we'll take a look at the ways that three teams are using AI in completely different ways. One to stay on top, one to claw their way back, and one hoping to rise from the bottom. Let's dive in. In Formula One, even if you're a top team, if you're not innovating quickly enough, you're gonna to fall to the back of the pack in a short period of time. That's because despite being so secretive, whenever a team figures out something, other teams quickly imitate it or even improve it. So advantages are typically very short lived. And Red Bull has been on top quite a bit over the last few years, including their historic 2023 season where a Red Bull car won 21 of 22 races. One of the reasons for their success has been their ability to react so quickly within races. While many teams have made colossal mess ups when it comes to strategy, Red Bull has been sound. And that in large part is due to the billions of race simulations they've run before the race even gets started mapping out every conceivable event. Red Bull's race simulations use AI and machine learning to model billions of what-if scenarios, factoring in variables like tire wear, pit strategy, weather, and safety cars. The system learns from historical data to predict likely race outcomes and the optimal decisions for their drivers. And when races get messy, which they have at times for Red Bull, Red Bull's AI planning extends off track as well. In F1, the FIA gives teams just 30 minutes to submit a formal written protest after a race. With everything going so fast, sometimes teams don't even know if their driver was really the one at fault or if it was the other driver. So along with the tech company Oracle, Red Bull developed a retrieval augmented generation system powered by a large language model. This system helps engineers decide if a protest is worth filing by pulling up all relevant rules and past decisions in seconds, so they don't have to waste time searching during a high pressure moment. And this is great for Red Bull, but honestly, it's mostly the other teams that are launching a protest against Max Verstappen and the Red Bull team. And actually, one team that was on the wrong end of a Verstappen incident this past year has also been using artificial intelligence, and it's helped turn them into a contender. Following a decent season where they finished fifth, McLaren purposely tempered expectations before the 2023 season. Team director Zach Brown said they honestly missed targets when it came to developing their race car for the season. And in the first two races of the year, he was right. Sitting in ninth place out of 10, they just looked slow. Way too slow for the very capable drivers that they had. But thanks to a strategic partnership, McLaren was able to make one of the most dramatic mid-season turnarounds in history. McLaren partnered with Cadence to use Fidelity CFD, a high-performance simulation tool that models how air flows around the car. Traditionally, testing new aerodynamic ideas involved time-consuming wind tunnel runs or manual simulations. But Fidelity CFD used AI-enhanced algorithms to more accurately and efficiently simulate complex airflows, especially around areas like the car's floor, side pods, and rear wing, where small changes can unlock major performance gains. This helped McLaren engineers rapidly test and refine new aerodynamic parts virtually, long before building them physically. By combining AI-driven simulations with traditional engineering, McLaren was able to improve radically mid-season, leapfrogging half the grid by the end of the year. And that momentum carried into 2024, where McLaren pulled off the unthinkable, beating Red Bull to win their first Constructors' Championship since 1998. And real quick before I get into how Williams is using artificial intelligence, I do want to call out maybe the most underrated way that McLaren is using AI. They have had strategy struggles in the past. Now they're using AI to turn competitor Intel into an advantage. During races, McLaren listens to rival teams' radio transmissions and runs them through AI-powered speech-to-text to transcribe conversations in real time. Then they layer on sentiment analysis. So if a driver sounds panic or frustrated, McLaren knows something's going wrong. And then it can inform their strategy so they know when to push, pit, or undercut. But what about for non-contender? Can AI put one of the worst F1 teams into contention for the constructors? Now I know this is obvious, but Williams is nothing like McLaren. They've spent much of the past decades stuck at the back of the grid, struggling with outdated tools, slow development cycles, and one of the smallest budgets in Formula One, which has made competing with the frontrunners an uphill battle. But in 2023, they made a crucial hire. James Valls, a data-focused, tech-driven leader with a background in systems engineering and performance analytics from his time at Mercedes. Under his leadership, Williams partnered with Julia Hub a high-performance simulation platform that combines machine learning with physics-based modeling. They replaced a physical wheel speed sensor with a digital twin. It's a lightweight AI-powered model trained to deliver the same data without adding a single gram of hardware to the car. Using a physics-informed neural network, it inferred speed in real time from data already flowing through the car. And for a team that can't outspend its rivals, they're really hoping artificial intelligence can level the playing field for them. 
We'll keep an eye out for new tech developments in Formula One. And if you found this video interesting and you'd like to see more on corporate tech in the future, please consider subscribing. This is Tyler Dutchover. Thanks for watching.